Hello all, welcome to the eSign demo video about how to enroll and sign a document as a foreign individual user. Start your eSign journey by creating an eSign account. For this, you need to visit eSign website and select the enroll as individual option. Now you will land on the sign up page where you will be prompted to enter your personal details such as full name, mobile number, email ID along with a login pin which will be necessary to access your eSign account in the future. Once you provide all these details, click on Create Account button. You will now be navigated to Mobile Verification page where you will be asked to verify the mobile number by keying in the OTP received over the registered mobile number. Enter the one-time password and finally click on Verify OTP button. Upon successful verification, you will land on the KYC enrollment page where you will be requested to provide a series of personal and address related details. Under your information section, you must key in PAN related information such as PAN number, name as mentioned in the PAN and email ID. Next, verify the email ID using email OTP and proceed to enter other mandatory information such as desired username, gender and so on. Once you provide these details, Click on save and continue to arrive at address information section. Now specify the address category, address, country, state or province and postal zip code to continue. Under document attachments section upload your photo, pan copy, government issued ID proof, valid address proof and proceed to the video verification process. Start the video verification process by clicking on record video button. Please go through the instructions for recording the video in the language of your choice and click on continue. Next, click on start recording button and proceed as per the instructions displayed on the screen. Finally, preview the recording and submit it if you are satisfied to complete the video verification process. As a next step, you are requested to select the subscription plan and currency type of your choice. You can start this process once the provided KYC details are verified by our backend team. A verified KYC status in green will be displayed on eMudra KYC based eSign window of the dashboard page to reflect successful verification. You will also receive an SMS and email confirmation highlighting the same. Post this, you can click on the subscribe button on the same window. On the subscription plan page, select the currency type followed by the subscription plan of your choice by clicking on the corresponding continue button. Now, a pop-up window will be triggered where you will be requested to provide billing information such as billing name, address, state, district or city, billing email, etc. Provide the required details, verify the currency type and click on pay to enter the payment gateway. eSign payment gateway provides a variety of payment options from debit and credit cards to net banking and a variety of e-wallets for your convenience. Select the payment method of your choice and proceed to make the payment. For this demo, we have selected the credit card payment option. As this window opens, enter the card information and click on pay now to complete the payment process. A success message will be displayed notifying the same. You can also visit the eSign dashboard page to view subscription active status update in green which indicates that your account is ready for use. To sign a document, click on New Signature button on the left navigation bar. Next, select the document to be signed using either drag and drop or upload PDF document option. Once the document is uploaded, click on Proceed button on the side of the uploaded document. You will now enter the next step of signing where you have to specify the location of the signature. Place the signature at the preferred position by moving the signature holder you can also choose to customize or select an option from the drop-down menu available on the left of the page. Next, specify place or location of the signee, the reason for signing, along with the signature page. Then click on continue for eSign button to move to the last step, that is perform eSign. Before you can perform an eSign, you have to authenticate the signing activity using two factors of authentication, namely the PIN followed by either SMS OTP or TOTP. Enter the PIN, select the OTP option and click on Get OTP button to receive an OTP. Finally, enter the OTP, check the consent box and click on Perform eSign button to sign the document. Now you can view the signed document. You can also download the signed document 
using the download option or share it with others using share option on the top. All the documents that are signed by you will be available on the signed by me page. You can visit this page to download or share them. This concludes the demo on how to enroll and sign a document as a foreign individual user. Thank you for watching this video.